Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another Tuesday video. We are back taking a look at more Marvel Crisis Protocol. And this week, we are going to be taking a look at Luke Cage and Iron Fist, the Heroes for Hire part of the Defenders, uh, and uh, pack 49 for this wonderful game. Now, before we continue on, as always, if you like, the, like these videos, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, just, you know, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think about everything. So anyway, we are going to crack into this, and you know the way this works. It is not going to be a full review of the models, or of the, uh, the cards themselves, how they are in the game. We're going to be taking a look at the models, uh, and we'll, we'll discuss briefly the cards themselves, what they're like. So in here, we're getting both Luke Cage and Iron Fist. We're getting a couple bases, some stack cards, tactic cards, and some tokens. So nothing, uh, nothing too big or fancy here. I don't believe there is a new leadership on here, which is... Kind of unfortunate. It would have been nice to see a, a new leadership uh, with these guys, but not really knowing the defenders all too much, I'm not uh, too sure if that would have been an appropriate addition here. So taking a quick look at the instructions here, both of them look pretty straightforward. Uh, I mean, uh, Iron Fist does have that sort of raised uh, raised model, a couple of small bits on the tail of his little uh, dragon fist thing there. Uh, but all in all, it looks pretty simple to put together. Same with Luke Cage, who's actually looking really easy there. So that is a nice, uh, nice start to it all. So let's get rid of that cardboard here. Okay, so let's take a look at what's coming with this one. And as soon as we get it out. Okay, let's see here. So we got tokens, nothing really special about these, just a couple status effect tokens. We have seen all of those many times before. We got ourselves a couple uh, tactics cards here. So we got uh, Kick Them While They're Down, which is an unaffiliated active uh, power, or card rather. Uh, any character spends two to play this card. Choose an enemy character when targeting the chosen character with an attack this round. Ally characters reroll one attack die for each special condition the chosen character has. So that's really cool if you want to build like a, a condition list using someone like Scarlet Witch or, um, you know, uh, Star Lord or Hawkeye or something like that. So that's, you know, kind of cool, kind of situational though. We got the Heroes for Hire. Uh, which is uh, unaffiliated, reactive, and when an allied character is targeted by an attack and is within range 3 of Luke Cage or Iron Fist, the allied character may spend 2 power to play this card. Place Luke Cage or Iron Fist that is within 3 within 1 of the allied character. The character placed becomes the target of the attack. After the attack is resolved, the character is not dazed and the attacking character is size 3 or less. The placed characters may throw the attacking character away short. That is actually really cool. Uh, for two power, I, I really like that. Being a fan of the yeah, the Defenders team and, uh, and such, uh, I actually really like that. I might actually um, have a spot for one of those two characters as a result. Next up, we got Kun Lun Training. So it's unaffiliated, reactive, when an allied character is attacking or defending before they calculate successes or failure step at the end of the modified dice step of the attack. You may spend four to play this card, reroll all the attack dice. So that one's a really good one, but it really relies on you knowing how the uh, the dice steps in the game go. And uh, I admit that is something I still kind of work on a little bit myself. But, you know, kind of a neat little thing. Anything that gives you some rerolls is always good because that is dice economy for you. So we got our cards here. So starting off, we got Iron Fist, who has five health on both sides, is a three threat, moves medium, size two, threes across the board for defense on both sides here. And not a lot on the card itself. It's got a builder attack right there, which is uh, strength five, range two, with a stun on a uh, wild. And then we got the flying kick. Oh, sorry, and chi strike is also a uh, energy. Then we got the physical flying kick, which is uh, a range three, strength four, one power for that one guaranteed, and uh, with a place effect. So after you resolve it, place them within range one. And then for strength eight, power, or sorry, for power eight, strength nine, range two, we have the iron fist. Before damage is dealt within range three of the tar uh, enemy characters within range three of the target characters suffer one. So you got sort of like an exploding damage there, which is kind of cool. Before damage is dealt, the target character has activated tokens. It gains the stagger special condition and is thrown short from the character. If the character does not have an activated token, it gains an activated token. That is insane action economy right there. Because uh, you're, you're basically forcing somebody to either have to shake uh, the staggered condition when they activate uh, next, or they're going to count as activated. So that's actually a good way of kind of shutting down or disrupting an, uh, an opponent's turn. 
Really cool. Eight power, though. That is a lot of power. You're going to have to really sort of build towards that one. You're probably not seeing that more than once a game. Twice, if you're lucky. Uh, and then we have Immortal Weapon, where uh, he is gaining an additional power. Okay, cool. And then Master Martial Artist, when this character is defending or against a physical or energy, and is within range three, you add blanks to the defense roll. So, really kind of cool. I actually really kind of dig Iron Fist. I, I think that's kind of a, a cool suite of abilities there. So we got Luke Cage, also not a lot going on here either. Uh, got six health on one side, five on the other, so 11 total. He is a three threat, medium movement, uh, four for physical defense, and then threes for the others. And we have Power Man Punch, which is his builder for five strength. Typical builder with a double wild doing a stagger. And this is kind of interesting. We're starting to see a little bit more staggers hit the table. And uh, that's kind of interesting because it's not one I've really dealt a whole lot with in game. It doesn't come up very often. But uh, now we're going to be seeing a little bit more. Uh, we also have Sweet Christmas, which is his spender, which is four power for seven strength. There is a wild throw for size three or less to throw them short. And uh, gain slow and stun. So both Luke Cage and Iron Fist seem to be really good at uh, kind of throwing on some, some effects that really kind of slow down the opponent. So I, I really like that a lot. Um, actually, I'm kind of excited to play both these guys now. So we got our uh, Street Fighter for two power there. Choose an interactive terrain feature size two or less and in range two and throw it once per turn. Throws are always really effective, so that's kind of cool. We got two dangerous to ignore for two power. When the enemy character is within range two this, the, of this uh, of this character targets. Yeah, within the end, when the enemy is within range two of this character and targets another allied character, basically it forces the target to be Luke Cage. So that's kind of cool bodyguard effect. We got Unbreakable Skin with his character suffers damage. Reduce it uh, by one to a minimum of one, and he has Immunity Bleed. So some really cool effects there. I, I really like it. Actually, I can see myself using both of those. Um, I, I already enjoy the Defenders as a team in the game, and uh, mostly because I really enjoy running uh, Daredevil, so that's actually really kind of cool. I look forward to that. So we got our sprues here, and we're going to start with Luke Cage. So let's see here. He is very simple to build. Not really much going on. His pose isn't too much. He's got his arms crossed right there. Standing on the girder, kind of stomping it down. Uh, all in all, very simple. Not the best uh, sculpt, but not, not the worst either. It's it's a very simple model, uh, which I think there's something to be said about that. It has that sort of confidence of it all. So I, I like it. We're going to take a look at that. We got Iron Fist over here, and right off the bat, I'm really digging the detail on the dragon itself. I, I think that's really kind of cool. I'm looking forward to, to building that and painting it. It's got lots of texture on it, which is going to be really good for, oh, whoops, which is going to be really good for uh, for picking up various paints to, to do it with. Uh, otherwise, the model is very simple here. I like that uh, instead of making the headband a separate piece, it's just modeled right onto the head there. That's excellent. Um, the only annoying thing appears to be these uh, little little fin pieces. I don't scale pieces maybe of the uh, of the dragon itself, but not too hard to deal with. So anyway, you guys know the drill. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get these assembled and hopefully painted up and take a look at the finished model. So we're back and we got both Luke Cage and Iron Fist painted up here. So we're gonna take a quick look. I'm just gonna start with uh, uh, Luke Cage here. And just getting them up here, and I gotta say, as I was painting them, the pose really grew on me. Just that uh, that confident uh, that confident pose, like him stepping on the girder, just that display of uh, of strength and presence. Uh, I, I gotta say, I just I really really started liking it a lot more. Um, I still wouldn't say it's my favorite sculpt, uh, but I think it's it's a much better sculpt. I think it's a very understated. Uh, so I, I really enjoy it. Like I, I'm actually uh, really excited to get the, to get these guys on the field. Um, had a lot of fun painting the yellow, the skin tones, everything like that. But just in general, I think Luke Cage is an excellent addition uh, to the game. I think uh, I think just having him <coughs> and what he does as a three threat defender uh, just gives him an, a nice a nice bit of presence, and I think that's very much reflected in his model itself. So definitely a lot of fun right there. Uh, then we do have the Immortal Iron Fist, and again, surprisingly fun to paint. Uh, some weird sculpting on his uh, on his torso, though. Like you can see here, they they really really played up the the abs. If I can get it to focus here, uh, they really played up the abs. But still, I mean, that's nothing outside the realm of normal for comic book stuff. Uh, but again, a lot of fun. Try to get something brighter on the dragon using some contrast paints. It did not quite work, so I kind of got like this muddy brown yellow. Uh, look to it, which in the end I did kind of like once I got some highlights on it. 
Uh, but again, very dynamic pose. I love uh, I love the fact that he's sort of like leaping forward, that he's propelling himself. He's got the 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 energy, the chi of his fist, uh, kind of uh, flowing around him and everything like that. Probably one of the most dynamic poses we've seen for uh, Crisis Protocol so far. So uh, you know, I I really enjoyed it. It was a great model, to great uh, great model to paint, great fun. Uh, it looks like he's got some really fun, cool rules uh, to use on the table as well. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, He's also not as insecure as I thought. Like this, the the base, uh, the dragon along the base actually has uh, quite a long connection point, which is really good. And the fist sockets into the uh, into the the dragon skull nicely, which is really good. Um, the other really nice thing about it, because there's so much space between uh, Iron Fist and the dragon itself, it's very easy to paint outside of sub assembly. Because like I don't tend to paint in sub assembly. I just I just want to get it built. Um, so I mean I, I know I hampered my own my own abilities uh, by doing so, but uh, it, it's just it was very easy to paint even with that uh, with that uh, difference there. The dragon is embossed right onto the uh, the chest, which makes it very easy to get in there. That that is not freehand. That is something that was sculpted on, which made things a lot easier as well. So very fun, uh, very fun model to put together. Paint. Uh, I love the dynamic pose and leaping forward. And uh, I hope I hope we see some more dynamic models like this going forward because I think there's a lot that they can actually do with it. So anyway, that is the Heroes for Hire, Luke Cage and Iron Fist, both of them uh, for the Defenders in Marvel Crisis Protocol. I think they were slotted into a couple other affiliations as well, probably Avengers. Uh, but both great models, surprisingly uh, enjoyable and fun to paint up, and they look like they're going to be great fun on the table as well. So, as always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave your comments below. Definitely want to hear from you on this one. And as always, happy wargaming.